I'm sure you've heard it said that when a baby's latched to the breast, their saliva backwashes into the nipple and tells your body what your baby's been exposed to so that your body makes antibodies to send to your breast milk to help prevent your baby from getting sick or to help your baby have a shorter duration and severity of sickness from what they've been exposed to in the environment. That's great, but what happens if you're exclusively pumping? Well, this hole isn't the only one that needs exposure to tell your body what your baby's been exposed to. If you are in your baby's environment, if they are home with you all day, every day, and it's a family member who's coming in and bringing a cold and flu over, you're in your baby's same environment. You your mouth and your nose are two other holes that can be exposed to those germs and your body will make antibodies to help protect your baby. If your baby is in daycare and your baby comes home sick, if you are snuggling and holding your baby and they sneeze on you and they cough in your face and you are kissing your baby, that saliva exchange that mucus exchange is enough for your body to still read what your baby's been exposed to to provide antibodies to that. We also studied really long and hard with COVID vaccine antibodies for passive and active immunities. And yes, if you are vaccinated, passive and active immunity is passed from your breast milk to your baby that way as well. So if you're exclusively pumping and concerned that you're not getting the nipple backwash exchange,